When Chapman Billy's leave the street and drowsy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are waiting late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit booze and at the nappy, and getting full and uncool cool happy. We think now on the lang scorts, miles, the mosses, water slaps and styles that lie between us and our home, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth, found on his tam or shanta, has he frae air, a knighted canter, old air, which near the tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. Ah, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise as ten thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee weel thou was a skellum, a blatherin', blasterin', drunk and blullum, that three November till October, a market day, thou was na sober. But till Camel, the wee, the miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller, that every nag was card or shoe on the smith, and thee got roaring foo on. That at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with cut and gin till Monday. She prophesied that later soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it goes me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many length and sage advises the husband frae the wife despises. But to our tale, a market night, Tam had got planted on right, thus by an ingle blazing finely with dreaming swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow sooth her Johnny, his ancient trusty drothy crony. Tam lured him like a fair a brother, they had been four for weeks together. The night drave on, with sangs and clatter and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favour secret, sweet and precious. The Sultan told his queer stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without my prayer and rustle, but Tam did not mind the storm a whistle. Care, man to see a man so happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee home with laid of treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious o'er oh, all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, you see the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the borealis race that flit there you can point at a place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay, man can tether time or tide, the hour approaches, time moon ride. That hour, a night's black arch, the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and such a night he tacks the road in, as ne'er a sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as to a blow in its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and long the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand the devil had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a butter never lifted leg. Tam skelp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, was holding fast his good blue bonnet, was crooning o'er some old scot sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest boggles catch him unawares. Her Galloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed a ford, where in the snow the chapman smored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie Brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fan the murdered bairn, and near the thorn aboon the well, where Mungo's mother hung herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods, the doubling storm roars through the woods, the lightnings flash from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll. When, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a breeze, to Ilka bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make a scorn? 
We're dippin'y. We feel an evil. When Oscar Bay will face the devil, the swat sea reamed and time is noddle. Fair play, he carried not tails or bottle. But Maggie stood, right there astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished she ventured forward on the light. And vow, Tam saw an uncool sight, warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, caught in Lyon, bright new fray France, but hornpipes, jigs, thrust bays and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A winnick bunker in the east, there sat old Nick and shape a beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to gee the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and guard them scarled till roof and raft as all did darl. Coffins to the round like open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderous banes and gibbet errands, two span lang wee and christened barons, a thief new cutted fray rape, with his last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks with blue dread rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son a life bereft, the grey hairs yet stacked to the heft, with mere or horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out with lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts, rotten, black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nook. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. Their piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it and coost her duddies to the work and link it at it in her sark. Now Tam, our Tam, had they been queens a plump and strapping in their teens. Their sarks, instead of creasy flannin, been snow white seventeen under linen. The breeks of mine, my only pair that once were plush or good blue hair, I would have given them off my hardies for a blink of them bonny birdies. But withered beldams old and drawl, rigwitty hags want speen of fall, loopin' and flingin' on a crummock. I wonder did not turn thy stomach. But Tam kenned what was what, foo brawly. There was a winsome wench and wally that night enlisted in the core, long after kenned on Carrick shore. For mony a beast her dead she shot, and perished mony a bony boat, and shook both meekle corn and bear, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark a paisley harn, that while a nanny she had worn, in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best and she was bonty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny with two pun scots, twas all her riches, would ever have graced a dance of witches. But here my muse her wing one core, such flights are far beyond her power. To sing how Nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was and strang, and how Tam stood like e'en bewitched, and thought his very e'en enriched. Even Satan glowered and fitched fu fain, and hotched and blew with might and main, till first they caper sign and never, Tam tent his raisin all together, and roars out, Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees biz out with angry fike when plundering herds assail their bike. As open pussy's mortal foes when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd when catch the thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow with moany and eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, oh, Tam, ah, oh, Tam, thou get thy ferrin, in hell they'll roast thee like a herring. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate will soon be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain of the brig, there at them thou thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare not cross. But ere the keystain she could make, the fiend her tail she had to shake, for Nanny, 
far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at town with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's mettle. A spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her rain grey tail. The carl and clot her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, who this tale of truth shall read? Elk man and mother's son, take heed. Whene'er to drink you are inclined, or cut his sarks run in your mind, think you may buy the joys or dear, remember Tam o'Shanter's mare.